it's Larry Lurcy and welcome back to Photo Education Online. This video is just a quick tutorial on how to add a border to an image. Uh, in my print competition DVD, I mentioned having presentations around an image. If you've been entering competitions, um, you notice that uh, generally is not a good idea to just enter a, f a full bleed image like this. You want to go ahead and give it some sort of a border or treatment around it. Or, uh, you know, for that matter, really, even if it's just something you want to print out and display in your house, a lot of times it looks better to have it uh, either under a mat or if you don't want to have to get a mat uh, cut for an image. There's a way that you can get kind of a similar look, um, but just kind of give it a little more of a complete look. And so I'm going to show you with this image here how I would go about doing just a simple uh, white border around it, nothing too fancy. So what you're going to do when you get your image here in Photoshop. First thing we're going to do is um, double click on the background. Let's just call that image to keep things organized. I'm going to come down here and add a new layer. Drag that underneath. So this is going to be basically our mat and or our border. Then what you can do is go up here to image, canvas size, switch this to inches, and this is where you got to guess a little bit depending on how big your image is. Um, for this particular one, I'm going to do two inches, which is basically going to give an inch on each side. We'll see what that looks like. And, and that's nice. I might even want to go a little bit larger, so uh, not a big deal. I can go in and just add one more inch all the way around. There we go. I think that's uh, a nice amount for a border. Then what I'm going to do is fill it. I'm going to take the uh, paint bucket right here, make sure I've got white. Click in here. Now it's placed white behind our image. Now, if you want to make it a little bit fancier for extra credit here on this assignment, just drag this down here and make a copy. And then with the top one still selected, go up here to Filter, Filter Gallery, and you're going to select Texturizer. I've got my settings here. I, I like Sandstone. I've got the scaling 106%, Relief 7. Um, that's not ironclad, you can do whatever you like, but it's going to basically give it this textured look. Hit OK. Now generally for me, let me uh, hit Z and zoom in here a little bit. It's a little too much for me, so I'm going to go here to my layer and bring the opacity down until I can just barely see it. Oops, that's the fill. There we go, opacity. So about 40% where I can just barely make out a little bit of texture there. And um, then I'm going to go back up here select the image, hit the FX here, go down to stroke. And what we're going to do here is put a little border around it. And um, how wide the border is is up to you. I generally start around 12 and see what that looks like. If you decide you want more, um, you can have a big fat border around it or a very narrow one. I like somewhere in between. I'm going to put, I'm going to go with 14. Set the position to inside. That'll give you sharp edges and then you just change the color. Uh, you might want solid black, you might want it to be like a gray. You can try, you could even go with the color. Uh, it's easy to become distracting that way, but if there's a lot of color in the image you can sometimes get away with having a color like that. But in this case we're just going to go with black. Hit OK. There we go. So we got a nice little uh, black line around it, a little bit of a border, and it's a much more complete image than you know just looking at it just like that with the plane. Uh, just the image by itself. So that's just a simple way. This again could be black, it could be any color you want, but that's basically how you put a basic uh, border around an image, especially if it's something that you're wanting to do uh, for competition. Uh, speaking of competition, I put a link down at the bottom if anybody is interested in um, checking out that DVD. You can actually put in a YouTube code. Just put in YouTube 5 YouTube 5 and it'll get you a $5 discount on the DVD. So anyways, hope this uh, video helped and if you have any questions be sure to let me know and I'll see you later. Thanks.